Hello and welcome to uh, my video series, uh, Setting Up Lotus Domino 8.5.1 on OpenSUSE 11.1, 64-bit, in VirtualBox 3.0.8 on Microsoft Windows 7, 64-bit. This is Part 6, the Network Bridge and Shared Folders. And as usual, I am your host, Devin Olson. Um, Here's our Sun Virtual Box. Let me see if I can explain a little bit about uh, w what we need to use a, a network bridge for. By default, when you set up uh, a Sun Virtual bo Box, um, the, hang on just a second here. Sorry about that, little mental brain attack there I had to deal with. By default, when you set up um, your network in Virtual Box, um, you're using, um, NAT, Network Address Translation. What that means is the network card on your virtual machine is communicates with the outside world via network address translation. It's the same type of thing that you would normally have behind a firewall uh, if you have a, a, an open firewall, or excuse me, a, a, an internal firewall on your machine um, or if you're going out through a router of some form like a like a home system and basically what this means is that the IP address which is assigned to your NIC inside of the virtual machine is only accessible inside of the virtual machine and the way that it gets to the outside world is when it goes through VirtualBox to then proceed onto the outside world, VirtualBox does uh, some network translation um, to the IP address. Very, very similar to uh, your, your home cable modem, your, your router, that kind of a thing. And that's great. That works really, really well if the only thing that you're going to be using your network card and your, in your, your internal virtual operating system for is to get out. But in this event, we need to be able to get in. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bridge the network. Um, and basically what that means is, you know, I'm, I'm setting up a, an OpenSUSE server and I'm setting up a Domino server on it. And yay, that's cool. I'll, I'll have this nice Domino server running on this OpenSUSE environment when we're, when, we're, when we're said and done. But if I cannot access it via a network, it's kind of pointless. There's really no reason to have it. And so what I need to do is I need to change from the default network settings. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to settings. And this is the settings for my my um, Linux operating system. And I'm going to come down here to network. And there is by default we're using NAT, Network Address Translation. And what instead I want to do is I want to choose a bridged adapter. And what this means is it's going to bridge my network card against another card. And I don't want to bridge my Wi-Fi. I want to bridge my Broadcom. So I'm going to go ahead and bridge it. And what that will do is it will allow my internal network card, the virtual network card inside of the virtual operating system, in this case OpenSUSE, it will allow it to listen to and respond to network requests that come to my regular network card on my machine here. So I, I've said I want to bridge it and I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And that's uh, the first part of bridging it. So now I've said yeah I want to bridge it. Can, does that mean I'm, I'm done? No, it does not. The next thing I need to do is I need to bring up my control panel and I need to choose network and internet, network and sharing center, and change adapter settings. And what I have now here is I have my virtual box host only network and I have my local area network connection. And what I need to do here is select both of them. So I select one and then press my shift key or my control key and sh oops can't do that because I don't want to get that. I'm going to press my control key. So now I have both elements selected. I'm going to choose right click and I'm going to say I want to bridge my connections. What's going to happen here is the operating system is going to create a network bridge for me. And there it is. And in just a moment it will enable that, that network bridge for me. There we go. My network is now bridged. <coughs> 